how to use gmail labels hello everyone and welcome back in today's video i'll be showing you guys step by step on how you can use gmail labels so how you can create them and how you can customize them according to your own needs now to get started with labels we first need to understand what can labels be used for labels can help you identify different streams of emails that are coming because when you have so many different emails coming to you every day especially if you are a hoarder like me and you have so many different mailboxes all because you have so much mail coming that means you're going to have to use labels for categorization. So to get started with labels, you're going to see on the left hand side, you have a section called labels. You're going to click on this plus icon. And once you click on this plus icon, you're going to enter a label name. So our label name is, let's say, going to be called manager and i want to tag everything that is coming from all of the different managers in my company into one different label now below that you have the option to nest labels currently we're not going to do that because this is our first label and then i'm just going to click on create now when you create a label you're going to click on the label and when you click on the label it will display all the emails that are categorized under manager then you can click on these three dots over here and you can click on label color this is a really important step because it's going to help you differentiate different labels. So I'm going to mark everything that is sent by managers in a purple hue. So I'm going to select the purple color and now you guys can see the purple color. I'm going to change my Google theme so you guys can actually see this a bit better. I'm going to go into settings, see all settings. No, oh, maybe I should just go back. View all let's go into the darker theme nah i don't like it this is not comfortable you guys can see we have a purple label over here now we're going to click on create new label and we're going to create our secondary label let's say this is going to be work related now i'm going to create this like so and then again i'm going to customize my label color to a bright red now everything that is sent by all managers falls under work right so what we're going to do is we're going to click on our label and we're going to click on edit. Okay. And I'm going to nest this under another label. Once I click on that, I'm going to select the work label and then click on save. Once I click on save over here, work is nested under the manager label. Now, after that, we also have many other settings in our labels. So within one label, you guys can see in a label list, you can choose how you want things to be displayed. So in the label list, if you want to show items, if you want to show if only unread, or if you want to hide that particular label from your mailbox, this helps you in browsing through your mailbox in an easier way. You can also choose to hide or display the particular message list, and you can even add more sub-labels or edit it further. Now, how do you apply these labels onto mail? Well, if I have any mail over here, you guys can see when you open up a mailbox like this, so we have a bunch of different basic mail, but you can just click on these three dots on the top and mark it as work. I'm not going to mark it as promo. I'm just going to mark it as work. Now, if I go back into my basic inbox, you guys can see the label of work is displayed. Now, a quick way to do this is to multi-select. So if you see a couple of different emails, you can select them, click on the top right, click on label as, and then select work or work manager or whatever email you want. Now, this is just for the basic settings of your labels. For further customizations, you can click on over here and then click on edit. And if I go into my general settings, click on see all settings and then click on labels, I have a couple of different options. So these are our basic Gmail settings. And in our basic Gmail settings, we can choose how to display label lists. So if you want to be showing starred and snoozed email, if I want to hide important email, I want to show labels. I want to show the important one. I can show the chats as well. Then below that, we have categories such as social updates forms. We can choose to hide or show those. Then we have our own labels that we've created, which are work and then manager. Then you can remove or edit, or if you click on edit over here, you can further, again, customize as we regularly would. And we can show this on our IMAP as well. So this is how you can add a particular label. 
And when you click on the label, the particular mail will be open. But if you cross that label out, the conversation or the Gmail or the mail is going to be removed from that particular category. And if you go into your regular old mailbox and select a label from the left, it will only display the items that have been marked with that label, but it's not going to display any other mail and it's not going to display the icon of that label. It's going to display the mail as regular mail. Now, if you go onto the top, you even have advanced search filters included. So you can search for one particular thing. So let's say I only want to look at mm, emails that are sent from my manager that are not older than a year. If I can apply that filter, then I can also choose if I want to only view ones that have attachments, and then I can only choose a particular email that they were sent from as well. And all these customizations are going to make it really easy for you to use labels. Now, you also can, you know, play around with the colorings and choose a color scheme. You can even add labels to open messages if you want, or if you want to add labels to multiple emails or create nested emails, you can also add that. And you also have labels that use AI to manage your mail. Despite all of your efforts, it can be difficult to reduce the amount of spam and unwanted emails you receive. And that is something you have to customize. So there's a really simple and easy way you can do this. You can actually use a couple of different extensions like SaneBox. Now, this is a plugin, so you would want to, you know, you would have to use the plugin, but it's a pretty tried and trusted plugin, which I do think can be amazing for anyone. Now, if you are, you know, tired of reading through all of these, you know, different categories and you want to mark everything together, you can select them like this on the top and you can click on this over here, click on label as and create or manage your labels. So if there are any unnecessary ones, you can remove those or even click on create new. Let's say this is my clutter or spam box. You can add that as a specific label to make it easier to get to emails that are not your primary emails. So if you have a mailbox like this, you guys can see this mailbox looks pretty cluttered, right? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna click on settings and we're going to click on see all settings. Then we're gonna click on labels, scroll to the bottom, and then we're going to delete these. So we're gonna remove these pre-existing labels which are pretty much useless and then after that we have different categories social updates forms promo then we have trash spam then we have scheduled and drafts then we have snoozed inbox so what i'm gonna do is i'm going to show my social emails and my updates and forms and promotions on the left then you can go back go into your promotions promotional emails and you can click on over here in this particular label, and then we can click on delete. And if you want, you can even select everything in a label, select all conversations, and then clear your selection. You can pretty much do the same thing for any particular label you have. So you have a easy and clean clean out of all of the mail that you've received. Let's say I want to select everything in social, and then I can proceed over here. Then I can click on delete and all of the mail regarding socials has now been removed. And this makes it really easy to manage, you know, old mail that you haven't read in a while. So I hope you guys found this video helpful. And if you did, make sure to leave a like and subscribe. And if you have any questions or queries, you can leave those in the comment box down below. I would love to know what you guys have to say.